Hello there and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Firefighter and this is the episode where we find out the team that we will be managing. You guys voted on it, thank you very much if you did. Um, we had choices in Belgium and in France and in Germany and Italy um, and it is, it is official, we will be taking on Union Berlin. So let's have a look at them first. If we have a look at the Bundesliga table, obviously we know they're bottom. Um, thank you for this, by the way. Um, you've given me mission very, very improbable and quite impossible. Seven points away from Fortuna Dusseldorf, who are in the relegation playoff, um, and a massive 11 points behind Eintracht Frankfurt, who occupy the... Um, the, the final safe spot in the Bundesliga. It's, it's going to be a monumental challenge. This is, um, we've got fairly lengthy break to go now. We don't come back. We're now on Christmas Eve. We come back on the 18th of January. I think that's the first game back it is. Uh, but so Union finished with a 2-0 defeat to Dusseldorf, which was a massively damaging result. And we will come back. Do we come back that day? Yes, with a match away at Leipzig. Oh, God. That's going to go well, isn't it? Uh, right, so what we're going to do in this video then, we're just going to have a look at the club. The same as we do with every every new series, a little intro into the club. Um, and we'll, we'll obviously, we will add ourselves in as the manager. So yeah, if we go and have a look at them, um, we, you can see they've, they've been on a bit of an upward trajectory recently. They've been getting promoted through, uh, through the divisions. Uh, they did spend quite a while in this fight of Bundesliga. Uh, they were in there from 2009-2010. Um, always finishing reasonably high up, though. Um, in the playoffs, it seems, quite a lot. And then they finally finished third last season and came up. Um, in terms of... They've still got Marcus Gisdol, who is still the manager in real life. So we are going to be replacing him, unfortunately. Uh, Felix Kroos is their vice-captain. Christopher Trimmel, their um, captain. Felix Kroos, I'm assuming, is Tony's brother. I'm assuming. I think that's right. Nevin Subotic, very, very good. Very, very experienced centre-back. Really happy to have him at the club. We'll be um, building the team around him. Lawrence Dale is our hot prospect. Um, of course, I haven't added him in as, ma I haven't added as, in as manager yet, so none of the attributes are going to show up. There's a reason for that. Um, and if, it, if we go and have a look at the squad, it's because... It shows you the kind of formation they play. It, it shows you the lineup that they've got going on. And I can see that they play a 4 2 3 1 at the minute, which I am very, very happy about because I, that is one of my favourite, favourite formations. It's an easy one to get going, um, not always an easy one to get going well or, or working, um, but it's, it's a good one. I like it. Um, of course, it's not worked out very well for them, has it? Because they're 11 points adrift at the bottom of the table. Um, but there's some names in here that jump out at me. Obviously, we've just seen Subotic. Um, Christian Gentner, 34 years of age, but can really do a job in midfield. Um, we've got as well Abdullahi, Anthony Ujar, who's been around the Bundesliga for a good few years now, former Köln striker, really good, powerful striker. Marcus Ingvartsen, he's a decent decent player as well so we have got some fairly good players already in there um obviously i can't look i could look at the finances because we've got the in-game editor but i'm not going to um what i am going to do is put myself in now um if i can remember how to do it i think do i have to do i have to go in no i think can i do it here um i can't remember what i if i um <laughs> i can't remember if i do it. Where do I put myself in? I should have had a look at this before we did this, shouldn't I, really? Um, there must be a way to do it. There must be a way to do it. Tell you what, let me figure that out and I'll be back with you in a second. Right, figured it out. It was easy. I had to do it from my profile rather than the club page. Um, but there we go. We are in as the new manager of Union Berlin. Uh, we are still in the DFB Pokal as well. I think we, we saw that, didn't we, when we did the uh, the introdu introduction to the whole series. If you're not quite familiar with this, go back and watch that first episode. But basically... Um, we fast forwarded to Christmas 2019 and uh, we're taking over now Union Berlin uh, that are bottom of the Bundesliga. 
We will go to the end of the season, try and save them from relegation. We will then resign, and then I will sim forward to the following Christmas, Christmas 2020, and we'll do it all again with another club. And uh, that's that's the beauty of the in-game editor. I can now build a career. Um, whereas last year, if you watched any of them um, that we did to save our seasons, we just started from the same vanilla database all the time. Whereas this time, we're going to go through the years, which I'll, I'm quite happy with. Um, so we've got... A 22,000 seat stadium, we've got good training facilities, average youth and basic youth recruitment. Not really too worried about that in these uh, in these mini-series because we're not going to be there to develop the youth. Good training facilities I'm happy with. We are, as I say, in the uh, Pokal third round and I'm sure. Do we get Hallisher or someone like that? A really low-ranked team, so at home as well I think it was, so we should get through. Uh, media prediction is 17th. Now in real life, they are killing it. They are safely mid-table at the minute. So that gives me a little bit of confidence that we have the players to do it. Uh, so yeah, I am really hoping that, that we can get some points on the board. My immediate target is Dusseldorf in that playoff place at the moment. Um, that's how they have been lining up, a 4-2-3-1. Again, I don't know if these are wingers or if these are inside forwards or what they are at the moment. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, we've got Schlotterbeck on loan. We've got Bilter on loan. We've got Nicholas on loan. And then we've got a couple of players out on loan. But we might bring up Sebastian Polter. I wonder if I can recall him. I quite like him, I think. I'm sure I know that name. Um, so we've got... I mean, again, we don't really need to be worrying too much about the club vision. Um, we just avoid a relegation battle at the end of this current season. Required. Really, the media have got you predicted to finish second bottom and go down. How is that just... Uh, what? <laughs> That's mental. Right, let's get to the main game screen and we can have a look now. Um, not so much at the at the squad. Um, maybe maybe some of the... How do we not know how good these players are? I'm the manager of the team. That's ridiculous. Uh, right, let's have a look through. So, in terms of the goalkeeper, it's been Moritz Nicolas, who looks like he's been playing on loan from Gladbach. Yeah, it looks okay. Um... Let's have a look through. So Nevin Subotic, of course, as we know, is going to be a rock at the back for us. Still only 31. Still very, very young, really. Uh, Florian Hubner, I know that name as well. Another really good centre-back. We see we've that's already a promising start. We've got a decent, a decent team here. Uh, Christine Trimmel uh, was he our captain? I think um, he oh, with a leadership of 11, and he's the captain. No wonder you are bottom of the league, fellas. Um, Let's see who else we've got. Lars Dietz, how long is he out for? Oh, he's only out for a couple of weeks. He's a decent player as well. Um, probably not going to be much more than a backup, though. Um, Christian Gentner, as a defensive midfielder, he would be someone that I would rely on heavily as well. The experience, 34 years of age, like the look of him. Uh, yeah, Felix Kroos, uh, definitely Tony's brother. Wow, we just had a transfer flash up there, a transfer notification. Um, we'll have a look at that in a sec. Um, Anthony Ujar was, was one of the ones as well that I mentioned, wasn't he? He's um, he's a really good for... I mean, the physicals are fantastic. Really good mentals as well. He might not score the, the most amount of goals. He has got five uh, in all competitions. He's not the most prolific scorer. Um, but if we can find a system to work around him in a very, very short space of time, granted, we might be okay. He is Marcus Ingvartsen. Um, doesn't look too bad as well. Um, again, good squad player. Um, I mean, I will go through when we're in the winter break. I'll have a look at these a little bit in more detail. What's the transfer thing then? Felix Kroos. We've we've had a, a transfer offer in for him already. Wow. Um, right, let's have a look at the finances then just quickly. We've got one and a half million in the transfer budget. Um, I don't think that's going to go up any. We are under our wage buzz. Budget by about 28 grand, 27 and a half. So there's a little bit of wiggle room there. I'm probably looking at maybe, I don't know, unattached players. This is a great chance. This is going to be coming out a little bit before the the series actually starts because I've got to get through. So if you do know of any good free agents for, um, that you that you think would help us, that you know will still be available at round about now, let us know in the comments. Um, and that, you know it might give me some ideas of players that we can go for. Um, anybody in the development centre I mean Lawrence Dale he was one of the ones wasn't he and how can I not know he's actually I am the manager of the club now how do I not know how good this kid is or I don't I don't get it what is going on 
Um, it's a poor squad, the under-19 squad. So yeah, I, it, they've, to be fair, the senior squad ain't much better. Um, right, let's have a look at the schedule then, and then we will actually, the competitions. Um, avoid a relegation battle in the Bundesliga is the requirement. And in the DFB Pokal, it's reached the second round, and we're in the third round, and we are playing Hallisher, but it is away from home, which is a little bit of a risk. They're in the third division, so it's a massive banana skin. In Germany, banana skins happen a lot. Um, right, wow. I mean, I, we, we were never going to have won many games, but wow. Um, one league win, and it was against Hertha. Ouch. We're well, going to win one game all season. Do it against your hated City rivals. That's what I would say. Um, the squad are on holiday at the minute. Just when are they back? When are they back off holiday? The 4th of January, they come back. And then we have a friendly on the 11th. And we're back in league. That seems like an awfully short. It must be to do with the Euros. Was it that short in real life? Did they come back on the 18th of January in real life? I guess they must have done. Um, and we've got Leipzig, Augsburg and Dortmund before the game against Hallescher. Bremen, Leverkusen, Frankfurt and Wolfsburg. Oh, God. We are not keeping this team up. That is just not happening. <laughs> we are not keeping this team in the league. Um, we're getting off to a bad start here, I think, fellas. This ain't going to happen. This is not going to happen. I mean, I know you've, I know Germany's got... An, I watched the Bundesliga. They've got some incredible teams. But why does it seem like there's more there than there actually are? I mean, I'm looking at all of... I mean, we could get something out of Augsburg. Um... Maybe out of Freiburg. Maybe out of Mainz. And why does it seem like we've got all the big teams away from home? I'm buying at home, but it just seems like Gladbach away, Dortmund away. We've got Leverkusen at home, but Frankfurt away. Oh, God, Leipzig away. And we end... Oh, this is an interesting end to the season. So we've got Paderborn, who are 17th. And then we've got Hoffenheim. And then we've got Dusseldorf as well. Oh, my God. Wow. Um... I'm not sure how I'm going to release this. Part of me thinks maybe do every game this time around, um, but not do it daily as we have done before. Maybe do it every, you know, a couple of episodes a week, something like that. But maybe do every game again. Jump in the comments and let me know. Let me know how you'd like to see this series. I can't wait to get going on it. Um, so if you're watching this as it comes out, jump in those comments. Let me know of any players that you think could help us. Help. Um, and yeah, let us know. Should I do every game? I think that might work quite well for a series like this. Um, so yeah, as always, watch, like, share and subscribe. We will get underway as the firefighter. And boy, oh boy, we have a hell of a fire to put out here, don't we? Um, and I'll jump in the comments and there will be a poll. Are we going to keep um, Are we going to keep Union in the Bundesliga? No, we're not. We've got no chance. <laughs> um, well... Come back soon for the uh, the first couple of matches of this one. It's going to be emotional. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Auf Wiedersehen.